Happy Monday, beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie, and I am super excited to be starting this week with this reading, you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for being a part of my world, my life. I don't know if you guys are aware of how much I love you, but I do. Everyone watching this video. Let's see what important messages are coming through for this reading. Remember that this is not necessarily a reading about what's going to happen today, Monday. It's just a checkup of the energies, pretty much. So let's just see what comes to our attention. Some messages are going to be for some of you. Other messages are going to be for others of you. Take it however it goes. Take it if it resonates. Let's see. Before we start, please make sure to be subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here for future readings. I'm going to be doing a nine card spread. By the way, guys, I am in my new office, technically, but I haven't really, like, set up the background so it's kind of you know kind of simple i will probably soon start to think about what looks nice on camera <laughs> right now it's more of a functional thing you know i have my coffee my protection um tourmaline my palo santo and my cards you know basics Well, Pisces. Okay, so there's two wands here already, and that is definitely catching my attention. A new beginning is here. No longer around the corner. Not, you're not no longer waiting for it to come in any minute now. <laughs> the new beginning is here. Alright, you have the Ace of Wands and you have the Ace of Swords. So I think that this new beginning for you, Pisces, is going to start as a very important conversation. And it's going to happen very naturally. This is not going to be a conversation, one of those we need to talk <laughs> kind of situations. This is more going to be something in which maybe you're talking to someone in your life about something and one thing leads to another and out of nowhere you're having this super deep super clarifying, important, almost official conversation about something in the future. And it's like before you know it, you are already inhabiting this new phase with someone. So this could look something like you speaking to your business partner or your boss or your co-worker about, I don't know, what you expect in the company or what your dreams are, what your desires are. And then all of a sudden, you realize that you're already making changes and that decisions are being made in that direction. If this is in regards to love, you know, this could be with your current partner or a potential partner, someone you're getting to know. And it's like very casually you fall into this conversation and out of nowhere, you know, you realize, wow, so this means that we're headed for engagement or this means that we are getting married or this means we're having a child. <laughs> it's like a big milestone um, sort of sneaks up on you a little bit, all right? But it feels very easy. It just sort of happens. And I think that you're going to feel very good about this, Pisces. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A Cancer. Now, you know, when so many signs show up, it's not really that relevant. So, you know, whatever with the signs. But those energies are definitely showing up here. Okay? So, with the Chariot here, this movement forward is quite positive. But there seems to be someone here whose energy is just popping out of the car a little too hard. And this person seems a little unhinged, I'm not gonna lie. Usually I see this card and I see someone very beautiful. You know, the Queen of Wands energy. But in this card, in this reading, in this moment, there's something a little unhinged about the, the look in her eyes. 
I don't know if you can tell or I'm just getting this sort of energetically, but you know, there could be someone here, Pisces, that is mad at you. They're mad at the fact that you exist. I mean, this person. This could be a mature woman, very beautiful woman, very powerful woman. This person has no reason to be jealous of anyone, but this person has a very particularly insecure energy inside. And this person seems to be very, very upset. Their energy, Pisces, could be draining you, could be affecting you. They're upset because you continue to move forward. And they seem to work and work and work and be in the same place. There doesn't seem to be any kind of movement for them. I mean, holding that kind of frequency is not, you know, <laughs> the most recommended, but yeah, it's like they, they are in a very frustrated energy and then they continue to frustrate themselves by comparing themselves to other people, in this case, you. I feel like this is completely unrelated from the previous message that we got, so take it if it resonates. You're moving forward. Some of you guys are moving forward into a time of your life in which you're going to be very fertile, okay? So I'm getting that phrase, everything that you touch turns into gold. I feel like this person, this mature woman, feels like that's the case for you. It's like everything that Pisces touches turns into gold. But I don't understand why that's a problem for them. You know? It's like they don't have to be happy for you, but you know, mind your own business, right? Because <laughs> I don't know, I really get this very obsessive energy from this card. Oh, I'm sorry guys, my WhatsApp thingy is uh, making sounds for notifications, but I'm kind of far away from it, so I can't really turn it off. I apologize, I hope that not too many messages come in. So yeah, you keep moving forward. Uh, you're very passionate. Someone here wants to seduce you. And someone here wants your demise, is what I'm hearing, very dramatic. Someone here, especially if you're a Pisces man, I feel like, and you're into women, like there's gonna be this woman, she could even look kind of like this. And she's gonna be coming in with an intention to sort of derail you, distract you, tempt you. This could be someone who is jealous of your partner, jealous of the connection you have with your partner or something. And they want to tempt you so you hurt them. So it's not really about you as much as it is about another person in your life. Take it if it resonates, that's definitely not going to resonate with all of you. But it's like, let's say that Pisces is dating um, Jane Doe, and then um, Jenny Doe, whatever, who's a friend of a friend of Jane Doe, comes in and tries to make Pisces cheat on Jane Doe to hurt her by tempting her partner. Does that make sense at all? So you know, be beware of this, especially if you're a Pisces man. Don't don't fall for it. Especially if there's like a friendship between them or they know each other, it's not gonna go well. Four of Swords. So Pisces, some of you guys could be starting this week feeling a little weak. <laughs> you could be starting um, this Monday feeling particularly sleepy, feeling a little slow, feeling a little, you know, kind of taking things easy, but like a little bit too easy. <laughs> Some of you guys perhaps didn't rest all that well last night and this morning you're starting to feel it. That's alright, don't worry about it. Um, you don't have to be at your full force all the time. We got the Seven of Pentacles here. So the Seven of Pentacles, um, you know, one step at a time. One foot after the other, okay? Focus on every little bit by bit progress that you can make. Don't try to get to the top of the mountain today, right now, in the next 45 minutes, you know. 
just try to do every single thing that you have to do today from the best space that you have. It's like that saying, I heard Will Smith say it once, I don't know if he's the one who said it the first time or whatever, but he's who I'm going to quote, <laughs> Will Smith. He said, you know, instead of trying to make the perfect wall, the biggest, the longest, most perfect brick wall, instead, every day, try to place one brick in the most perfect way possible. You know, so every little intention that you set, every little movement forward, make sure that it's the best you can do. And inevitably, it will pile up into this beautiful, huge, you know, wall of perfectly placed bricks, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I get that this is sort of like the feeling here. What is wrong with this person? Jeez, your energy, man, is like fucking me up. All right, let's see. What's up with this person? Who is this person? They don't understand how you're still standing, Pisces. You know, a few months ago, we did a reading about a mature woman who had really put in an effort, Pisces, on like cursing you and hexing you and like fucking you up. Um, and many of you actually resonated to a T with that reading. For those of you that resonated with that message, I feel like this person feels very insecure about their own power and their own magic because they continue to send shit your way and it just does not work. <laughs> and they're pissed and they're mad and they seem unhinged, quite frankly, and obsessive about something in regards to you. But I feel like you're protected. Your angels protect you, Pisces. You have a mission. You have a role. You have you have no time to lose, pretty much. It's like you're not gonna be allowed to be distracted by shit like that. It's like you're gonna be protected from everything because you have a lot to give to the world, to the collective, and there's no time to waste. Like that's enough, you know. And this person. I feel, feels very frustrated, very like, I don't understand how Pisces is still standing. My magic works with other people, I have ruined many lives or whatever, and Pisces is just, I don't get it. This person is not well, I'm getting the fool. Okay, so this could be in regards to a new beginning that you have... Um, recently talked about, posted about, made public, okay? So some of you guys perhaps are getting married. Others of you perhaps have um, maybe moved homes, moved countries. And uh, it could potentially represent some kind of like good news, right? Something good in your life, a milestone, something positive. And this person... For whatever reason, they saw this, okay? So maybe they saw a picture, a post, someone commented to them like, Hey, did you see that Pisces is getting married? Or hey, did you see that Pisces won this award or whatever? And, you know, that sort of like brought attention to you again. This person may have, you know, totally forgotten about you for a while. And maybe this new chapter of success brought attention back to you. The building of your empire. And it triggered... All of this insatisfaction that they have within themselves and trigger this sense of defensiveness but they're starting to get tired you know energetically they're like why am i going to continue to like send shit pisces way if it's not working like you know it's just but they're very frustrated that it doesn't work in some cases here pisces there has been someone who has been sending negative energy your way for years years Sometimes I wonder about these kind of people, like, don't they have anything to do? You know, aren't they busy with something else? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I, what I'm getting is that you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Because you're more than protected. It's like spirit kind of like let you have that experience at some point in the past. Of like feeling it, um, learning about it, facing it and stuff. But now it's like, okay, that's that's enough. Like, that's just stupid. And like, Pisces, you need to move on. You have stuff to do. Like, let's keep going. It's 
Sorry guys, I was interrupted. My cats were fighting out there, out of my office, so I opened the door to them. One of them just got up here, over the reading. He's right here, you can see him. <laughs> um, let's continue. Cat mom life. Anyway, I wouldn't pay too much attention to this. I wouldn't get too um, worried about it, Pisces. You've got the universe behind you. And this person is just, you know, they can choose to be obsessed about you for the rest of their lives, you know, how, how stupid is that? But they can, I mean, free will, right? Whatever. King of Swords, you may be dealing with someone in your life, could be a completely different note here, someone in your life who's very objective. This person <laughs> feels like emotions are a weakness. They don't want to fall prey to emotions. They want to make decisions from a space of logic and, you know, consciousness and assertiveness, responsibility. Maybe this is the person that is inviting you to move forward with them into this new beginning. I love this energy of how things are just going to sort of fall in, in their place, like pieces will fall where they may here. And this conversation is just going to lead you to something beautiful and it's going to be so effortless. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to even set an intention, you don't have to ask for anything, it's just going to happen, Pisces. So that's beautiful, I love it. I really do. You know, this person here, I almost, feel, I almost feel kind of sorry for them, you know, I don't want to be condescending that way, but like, I don't understand what this person sees in you that they feel like they don't have. This person is a very beautiful person, very powerful person, it's just that they're kind of fucked up like mean or evil or whatever. Maybe they're just hurt. I don't know. Hurt people, hurt people. Hurt Pisces, I just cry. <laughs> Am I right? I've never met a Pisces that turns mean and evil and, you know. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some out there that have been so hurt that can't really hold love anymore. And that's so sad, you know. But other signs become so revenge, revenge focused or vengeful. But I don't see that happening to Pisces. I feel like Pisces has been through the most crap. And if anything, it has made the Pisces Collective more compassionate. Which is interesting to think about, isn't it? How people react differently to things. So, my loves, this is what I have for you today. I wish you a beautiful Monday. Dal is wishing you a beautiful Monday too, my cat. Um, <laughs> I wish you the best of luck this week. I hope that you have a wonderful time. I hope that you're well, that you're protected, that you're loved. Um, for those of you who are resonating with that energy protection need, <laughs> you know, with this person, comment below. I would love to understand a little bit more about that situation. I was very surprised with that past reading in which so many of you resonated with. So I have two things that could, you know, help you with this could help you find some peace about it or even like protect yourself if you feel like you need to. The first one is the energy protection course that is um, in the description box. So I teach you, you know, from zero to a hundred how to protect yourself from all sorts of negative energies um, consciously sent your way or not. Okay, so there's a lot of good stuff there that I think everyone should know. Like that should be the basis of everything always. And the other thing is my novel, in case that you guys would appreciate, um, you know, falling in love with a book again, you know, connecting to a novel, one of those novels that like really have like suspense and you don't want to put them down. I'm very proud to say that I feel like my novel is like that. <laughs> and it's about precisely a situation kind of similar to what I saw here in the cards today about a past mentor that I had and a very difficult situation that came out of it. Very healing, very beautiful, very entertaining. You know, check it out. If there's anything else that I can do for you, you'll probably find it out on the website. 
online courses. We have the Manifestology uh, for free YouTube channel. Meditations, resources of all kinds that you can get for free right now. We also have merch, mugs, hoodies, goodies. We also have donation links. So, <laughs> I mean, in any way that you want to say thank you, you know, there's tons of ways in which you can do that. And if it's just saying thank you, that's fine. If you don't want to say thank you, that's fine too. <laughs> but I definitely appreciate everything sent our way energetically. Um, as far as donations go, you know, all the gifts that you guys have sent. Thank you so much for that. It's so beautiful to find surprises in the mail from you. Ugh, it's just so nice. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, my loves.